Jake Palmer at Remax here. I'm at 9 Olinville Road in central Greenwich. We're 15 minutes from the Nerepis Bridge. Walking distance to Route 102, just down here, which is nice. It means you're not on some secondary road that doesn't get plowed. And we back right onto Jones Creek down behind those trees, and we'll see that in a minute. We'll go in through the back door, and I'll start the tour there. I've had a hard time deciding whether to call this a cottage or year-round home. We're going to go with year-round home. Although these people bought it as a cottage, they've done an awful lot to make it um, into a really functional, practical year-round home, and they've certainly lived here year-round themselves. One of the things I really love about this place is that it's got lots of really well thought out storage. You'll notice lots of little shelves and built-ins. Coat rack up along the top here. So a really functional mudroom. Pine boards on the floors. Nice little stoop in the back looking down towards the creek. That's the woodshed over to the side. We'll see that in a minute. And in case you missed it, staircase to the basement. It does have a full basement, fully finished. Main living space here, so nice wide living space. Lots of windows too. Lots of lighting, which is really nice. Salvage barn boards for flooring. So lots of charm in this place, but again, really big living room. Lots of room for big furniture and very open concept to the kitchen, which we'll see in a second. Full bathroom off to the side. Again, some really charming details. Nice little sink. Flushes over here, cast iron tub. And again, built-ins over on the side here. Kitchen's just really, really stunning. So, very charming, beautiful built-in table here with storage underneath. Lots of counter space, lots of storage. This is a pull-out um, uh, pull island. And this over here, just to make sure you don't lose this, this is a pull-out pantry. So lots of storage built in there. Built it on the side here, behind those glass doors. And again, um, lots of space here for food prep, but also lots of room for modern appliances, specifically a nice big fridge, which can often be a challenge when you're into uh, cottages. Beautiful built-in here around the, uh, around the island. Wood stove right over on the side here with lots of, lots of storage beside it. But I mean, you take a few minutes and you notice lots of little built-ins like this all throughout the home. We'll go upstairs and I'll show you the master bedroom and the sitting area up there. It used to be two bedrooms. They opened up the main area up here to make it um, kind of like a, an open loft where you first come up. But very easy to make this into a separate bedroom again if you wanted at the top of the stairs. So the wall would just go right up here. But as it is now a nice area for a study, just as a guest area. There is room over here if you wanted to have a desk here. And again, built in over on the side. And then over here, really large master bedroom, plenty of room for a king size bed, lots of storage on both sides. And storage around the back here as well. So you can hang shirts and dresses right up in here. Again, lots of charm, lots of personality, lots of character. But really, really functional. This is the thing that I think I love the most in this house. This great big tall window as you come down. And I don't know if you can see it there, but that's the creek right down in there. So as you walk down, you, you see the creek. And we'll go down to the basement. I mean, you'd never expect to have a finished basement in, uh, in a place like this, but this place was lifted and put on a new foundation. And so again, it's, um, it's not one of these campy old places with a stone foundation. It really is meant for year round living and really well set up to last another hundred years. But beautiful big living room area here, lots of room for big furniture. And again, this looks right out towards the creek, full walkout, obviously. Workshop area back here. This could actually be set up as a bedroom quite nicely because it's got an egress window. Very easy to put a doorway right here if you want it. And we'll go out to the backyard.
And so back here, we've got the wood shed. You actually have access to this from inside. So a great place to store your firewood inside or outside workshop area up above it. And we'll head down to the water. He's got a beautiful little path leading right down to the creek. I asked him why he didn't just do it in a straight line. He said he wanted it to be a wandering path so people wouldn't rush. Makes a lot of sense to me. And what I really like about this, you've got you got a beautiful little shady spot under this underneath this tree, but then some really sunny spots on either side of it to kind of sit and uh, warm up if you need to. Sit in the shade if you need to over here. They've got a little fire pit area set up over here. And if you just kind of wander up the creek here couple of minutes there's a really nice swimming hole up there although the owners say that he's awful prone to just kind of laying down in the river right here or in the creek and uh, just cooling dot cooling off in the creek right around here it's a really beautiful charming spot and again all the all the character and all the little things that pull at your heartstrings that you want in a cottage but uh, really a functional year-round home as well which is really fantastic And so that concludes the video tour for 9 Olinville Road in Central Greenwich. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I can be reached at 650-0092. And my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca. Thanks very much.